This is it. My new toy, a 1981 Land Rover Series 3 lightweight. And it's got some character to it. There's some rust. It's been well used, about 44,000 miles on it. But she looks awesome, doesn't she? Ex-British military. It's got a full military history, which I can talk about in a bit or in a video down the line, but I'm hoping to take it on some really cool camping trips. Maybe get a military tent that goes out the back of it so it attaches to the vehicle itself. Yeah, it's exciting. It's a bit of a pig to drive, if I'm honest. But we'll take a quick look round and then uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about it. Well, this is the interior. As you can see, it's got some character to it. Four speed, manual obviously gearbox. You've got your four wheel drive and you've also got your low range. Uh, yeah, you've got your choke, obviously. You get a bit more old school now, it's 80s and simply built. Uh, I've got to get used to all of these. There's a heater. That's got no ducting, but there's the ducting. So it can heat the old windscreen. And then I think I can open it down here and it can warm my feet. Yeah, that's for the feet. Got your wiper washer, which I'm not going to tinker with just yet. A few other buttons. Uh, that's the lights and the convoy lights. Your standard hazards. Uh, it's a dual fuel tank, but I don't think the fuel gauge is working at all. Oil temperature, water temperature. I think the water temperature works. But this is awesome. Look at it. And there's the back. Two seat benches. Uh, the canvas cover as well. It's a bit uh, tired. So essentially what I'm hoping is to be a, I can take that canvas back flap, roll it up, and then attach the tent, the military tent, to the side here. And then I can basically have access to this whole inside bit of the, the truck and in, get into the tent at the same time. It's like a tunnel thing. Um, I've seen pictures of it. I've never used one before, but it looks really cool. And I'm very excited to be doing some sort of camping videos in this but it's battered you know it's old it's had some really good use in the military you can see there's quite a bit of sort of rusty things and that's the air <laughs> that's your vents to get some nice outdoor airflow there yeah it does work and just literally set what you want and that's all you're gonna get but yeah there's some ducting there for the heater there i'm missing ducting here so there's lots of little projects and things to do Transfer gears, that's the high range and low range, how to do it. Uh, yeah, what else is there? Little box here, I believe in a 24 volt model, the batteries are here. And in the 12 volt model, you can get a third seat here. So I might get a third seat installed and I might get a, there's a shelf here. We'll have a look in a minute, but I mean, there's some rust guys, look, absolute pitting. I mean, there's a whole that whole door might need replacing. To be fair, I mean it, it works, but it's not looking good, is it, folks? Let's face it. That's uh, that's going to need more than just filler. But hey, it's got character. It's got crack up there, pin mould and stuff all along the uh, canopy. <laughs> Big old steering wheel, Land Rover steering wheel. Oh, here's the uh, details. You can't see it, but I've got it on the military history documents of the, the chassis number and everything. Fuses here. It's nice and simple, which means it's gonna break down a lot. Clutch, brake, accelerator. Oh, this is cool as well, let me show you. So, I said about twin fuel tanks. Well, they're actually under the seats themselves. So if I pull that up, there is one fuel tank. Oh look, there's the floor of the forest that I'm in and that's the fuel tank there and you sit on it so it smells nice and strong as well as you're driving along as a lot of the uh, Series 3 lightweight owners will know this is Discovery seats I think these aren't the original seats these look like Discovery old Discovery seats classic place for it to rust out is the footwell that's been replaced before um, usually you get people that put like checker plate there. There's the switch for the dual fuel tank to go left and right. I put left and right there so we know which way, <laughs> which tank goes to which. Because you can switch as you're driving. You can just, when run tank's running out and it's spluttering, you can just flick this over to the other fuel tap and it will engage the other fuel tank. So you can carry lots of fuel. Seat belts, 
snazzy a seat belt bar there for the seat belts yeah. I like it so I just got these tires from new the owner uh, the previous owner said they would get new tires because the original ones are here that's what the tread was like there look slicks on the spare so gonna replace these front ones as you can see lots of rust but you can see the chassis and I like that it's not painted so I can see what rust is there and that's what I was checking before I bought it that there was no tons of paint and filler on it so all sounds all right but I'm gonna go and get it appraised and see if there is anything questionable about it that needs fixing I'm sure there will be leaf springs nice hard suspension and this is cool look these are the radio boxes I was on about where I think it was a 24 volt model beforehand and these sit on, sit on the front of the vehicle uh, obviously they're not working at the moment but they are awesome there's the uh, antenna I don't want to electrocute myself here but how cool is that dual radio boxes on them one that side there's the front NATO tow hitch at the front radiator grill looks all right there's the old badge lads Land Rover Solly Hole. Look at that British flag. Britain. Whee. Lights it's missing. Some of the surrounds I think. Well they're not. I don't think they're original light surrounds. It looks great doesn't it. There's the other radio box. I've got no idea. I need to re I'd like to refurbish these and take them apart. Not, gonna, not to, to necessarily use but just to refurbish. Spare wheel on the front. Look at her boys. That is awesome. It's quite a bit of rust on the exhaust. Things rattling around. It's mostly surface rust. There's a few things that need sorting. Yeah, there's the new tires. So I'm gonna get four to three more new tires on there and on the front. On the back here, you get some tools, pioneer tools. So you get a shovel and a pickaxe, I've got to go and source some of those and they attach to the back of the vehicle here. So I've got to look for some of those. This is interesting, so you've got the NATO tow hitch here at the back, the official NATO one, but someone's actually installed, the previous owner's installed a civilian tow hitch as well, which is actually quite handy because then I can take civilian tra trailers as well. But it all needs a fair amount of looking at and that's why I'm going to get an appraisal. Got the bumperettes and the little uh, rings that the helicopters would have carried it yeah and this all comes off and that folds down it's all very exciting guys it's very exciting out of here is where the uh, aerials would come out and stuff for the radios I'm guessing it's really cool really exciting that exhaust I'm a little bit sketchy about and the way it's hanging there it's looking a bit anyway She's she's got character and I like that about it. Gonna have hopefully have lots of camping adventures in it. As well as the camper as you know as well. They call these the lightweights or the air portables because essentially it's like a series three but it's been totally stripped down. So you've got these like drum, dropped front arches and everything like that. They've minimalized everything on it to make it really light. And that's because it was used in the military to and it was designed to be lifted by helicopters the lifting capacity of the helicopters at the time was very limited and so the vehicle had to be as light as possible and this is what they came up with so this entire top section here from the top bulkhead along there with the canvas can all be stripped down and taken apart and you essentially have an open top uh, almost like a fully convertible uh, truck which is really cool and i'm sure this summer later down the line when we do some camping trips in it i will do just that out on the nice warm days and we'll go camping in it yeah there's lots i want to do to it and i'm thinking i might i might try and renovate this and if you'd like to see that head on over to my other channel life of mike because i'll do a lot more behind the scenes stuff of this vehicle on the life of mike channel i just thought i'd introduce to you, it to you guys on here because i'm hoping to do the first camping trip in the next couple of weeks maybe next month and uh yeah it's really cool i'm really pleased with it it drives like i say like a bit of a pig but um yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I think it looks really cool. It's authentic. It's ex-British military. It's had some good use. I'm looking forward to taking it out for a spin, that's for sure.
is awesome.